Hey everybody, today I'm going to be unboxing the Hori Split Pad Pro. Now I actually picked this up from Amazon from the Warehouse Refurbishment Center. Um, it was only 45 instead of the normal 50, so I saved five bucks. Um, it was in very good condition. Uh, however, it said that the box may be slightly damaged. And as you can see, it is slightly damaged here at the front um, and on the sides here. But let's take a look and see what it looks like on the inside. Um, this is something that I've been wanting since it came out, and they're actually extremely hard to find now. Um, I wanted it for Rogue Company, um, which I've been playing here recently. So it comes with the instructions here, which, let's be honest, I, we don't really need that. It's, it's a controller, so I mean, here we go. This is what it looks like. It's got your turbo buttons. It also has two programmable buttons on the back. One here and one on the other side. So the buttons feel good. They're very light. I'd definitely say these are under a pound a piece. Like they, they're very light. Um, they do not have any wireless connectivity to them, so it can only be used in handheld mode. Um, to put them on, it's actually fairly simple. Just, you know, you take your Joy Cons off your switch, like so. Um, we'll try it with the case on that I have. This is supposed to be a slim case that fits in the dock. Um, but we'll see. I believe it's going to have to be, yeah, there's no way that's going to work with that case on. So do not try to use it with a case. It probably will not work. It does not with this one at least. So you're going to want to just take your case off, slide them on. It will click into place, you know, just like your joy cons do. And then, you know, this makes it a little bulkier, but I mean, you can feel the difference in comfort. Um, it also has these supports back here, which is the reason why you can't use my case because it kind of supports it where it is so much larger um but yeah so it feels very nice buttons seem very responsive the analog sticks they click you know all that good stuff like i said you do have your your turbo um you have your your home and your capture buttons there um you know your x a w y so i mean it's just like using your joy cons just a bit comfier especially for people with bigger hands um people that are going to want to play games like rogue company or uh, even fortnite would probably be great for this um i for 45 bucks it seems pretty solid um let's go ahead and just turn it on and see how it responds as far as with the screen and stuff like that so go ahead and booting it up All right, and just do the old triple button to get in. So as you can see, it's it's actually pretty responsive there. You know what I mean? You can kind of scroll through, not really have any issues. It's There's not really much of a delay between what I'm doing and it actually moving, so that's great. Um, but yeah, so 45 bucks through Amazon or uh, 50 if you buy it brand new anywhere else. Um, I would say it's worth the purchase for sure so far. I'm going to do a, um, I'll probably do a more in-depth review once I get some play time with it, but I kind of just wanted to show y'all what it was about. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see y'all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This has been MGS Poner. Peace.